And mathematicians wanted to know, were there aperiodic tilings that required fewer tiles? Well, Robert Berger himself found a set with only 104. It's like all of a sudden everything is illuminated. Donald Knuth got the number down to 92. The fifth thing about Johannes Kepler is that if you take his pentagon pattern and you overlay it on top of Penrose's, well, the two match up perfectly. And then in 1969, you had Raphael Robinson who came up with six tiles, just six, that could tile the entire plane without ever repeating. Then along came Roger Penrose, who would ultimately get the number down to two. Penrose started with a pentagon. He added other pentagons around it and, of course, noticed the gaps. And mathematicians wanted to know, were there aperiodic tilings that required fewer tiles? Well, Robert Berger himself found a set with only 104. Donald Knuth got the number down to 92. And then in 1969, you had Raphael Robinson who came up with six tiles, just six, that could tile the entire plane without ever repeating. Then along came Roger Penrose, who would ultimately get the number down to two. Penrose started with a pentagon. He added other pentagons around it and, of course, noticed the gaps. The fifth thing about Johannes Kepler is that if you take his pentagon pattern and you overlay it on top of Penrose's, well, the two match up perfectly. It's like all of a sudden everything is illuminated.